guys in this video I'm gonna show you how to use a do loop so a do loop starts with a do keyword followed by a block of code with statements that we want to execute then after the closing braces of the block we have the while keyword followed by an expression and important is the semicolon so this is the only loop that ends with a semicolon now the way this works is the statements inside the block get executed at least once and after they're executed we have the while here with the expression this gets validated to check if we should execute it another time and another time so in a sense it's similar to a while loop but the difference is that we don't check the condition before the block we check it after and the result of this is any statements that we have will always execute at least once there's no check before we will just do execute these statements as long as this expression is true so let's do this with an example let's create a char variable letter and let's say we want the user to enter a lowercase letter and we want to do this at least once so that's why we're using a do while loop now we prompt the user to enter a letter we read it into the letter variable and here the expression we have to define when do we want to repeat this prompt so since we are reading in a valid letter and valid letter is a lowercase a until a lowercase c this is valid we don't want to repeat when it's valid but we do want to repeat to prompt the user to enter a new letter when it's an invalid character so if you don't know characters in c++ are encoded as ascii values an ascii value is essentially an integer and these integer are in order so we can use the relational operators and can check if the entered character is before in z before in lowercase a or if the entered character is after a lowercase c and if it's anything outside the valid range we run the loop again if it's within the range of a lowercase a to a lowercase c we don't run again this condition becomes false and we continue with our program and then our program knows we have a valid letter so let's run this program and let's say we enter a hashtag we execute now the loop again let's say we enter a uppercase h we run again what if we run enter a colon we run again now if i enter a lowercase letter for example e you can see we stopped the loop and then continued after the loop and i don't have any code so it stopped the program so when do we use a do while loop essentially it's similar like a while loop we use it when we don't know the number of iterations but we do know that we want to run code at least once so similar like a while loop a while loop is any number of times but a while loop is zero to n times a do loop is one to n times i hope this gives you an idea of how to use a do while loop thank you for watching